Hi, in this video, I will demonstrate the dynamic execution of two sample T tests using Tableau and our analytics. Prior to commencing, it is essential to confirm that the prerequisite installations, including R and RServe, are set up and that Tableau is successfully connected to RServe. If you have not yet installed R, please visit the CRAN or dash project.org website to download the latest version of R. Please select a download site that is convenient for you and choose the appropriate version based on your operating system. After the download is complete, proceed to install R. However, if you have already installed a copy of R, you can skip this step. After installing the R, we can install RServe. To begin the installation of RServe, please open the R console and type in install.packages RServe. Feel free to select any mirror site to download the RServe package. Once the installation of RServe is complete, type in library, RServe, and then RServe to start the RServe. Excellent! With RServe up and running, we can now proceed to connect Tableau to RServe and leverage our analytics within Tableau. Please launch Tableau, create a new workbook, and link it with the sample data in Excel that I have provided a link at the description area below. To connect Tableau with RServe, please follow these steps. Click on the Help menu at the top of the Tableau window. Select Settings and Performance from the drop-down menu. Click on Manage Analytics Extensions Connection in the right-hand menu of the Settings and Performance window. In the Manage Analytics Extensions Connection dialog box, enter localhost as the host name and 6311 as the port number. Click the Test Connection button to check if the connection is successful. If successful, a pop-up message will appear confirming the connection. Click OK on the pop-up message, then click Save to close the Manage Analytics Extensions Connection dialog box. Now Tableau is connected to RServe, and we can begin using R functions and packages within Tableau. Great, let's review the sample data. The data file contains 6,184 rows, including headers, and the column headers are ID, ethnic group, gender, income group, region, school, ACT composite, ACT English, ACT math, and ACT science scores. Now, create a Tableau parameter named independent variable options and populate the parameter as a list of the gender, ethnic group, income group, school, and region. Create another Tableau parameter named dependent variable options and populate the parameter as a list of the ACT English, ACT math, ACT science, and ACT composite. Right-click Independent Variable Options Parameter and select Show Parameter from the pop-up menu. Right-click Independent Variable Options Parameter. Again and select Create. Then Calculated Field from the pop-up menu. We are going to create a calculated field named Group Name based on the Independent Variable Options Parameter. In the Calculated Field dialog box, Enter Group Name as the name of the calculated field. In the formula section, copy and paste the following code. Case, independent variable options. When gender then, gender. When ethnic group then, ethnic group. When income group then, income group. When school then, school. When region then, region. End. Click OK to close the dialog box. Now, right-click the dependent variable options parameter and select show parameter from the pop-up menu. Then select Create. Calculated field from the menu. Now, create a calculated field named underscore two samples underscore group one in the formula dialog box enter. Fixed, MIN, group name. Duplicate underscore two samples underscore group one calculated field. And change the new calculated field's name as underscore two samples underscore group two. And edit the formula, change the MIN minimum into max maximum. These two calculated fields will control which two sample groups, for example, male-female, be selected and entered into the t-test. We are going to create a calculated field named dependent variable selected based on the dependent variable options parameter. In the calculated field dialog box, enter dep underscore var underscore selected as the name of the calculated field. In the formula section, copy and paste the following code. Case. Dip underscore var underscore options. When ACT math then, act math. When ACT English then, ACT English. When ACT science then, ACT science. 
When ACT composite then, ACT composite. End. Now, right-click dependent variable options parameter and select create, then calculated field from the pop-up menu. We need to create two calculated fields named dip underscore var underscore selected underscore group underscore one and dip underscore var underscore selected underscore group underscore two. Based on the dependent variable options parameter, let's create dip underscore var underscore selected underscore group underscore one calculated field first. Copy and paste the following formula. Then make a duplicate out of the dep underscore var underscore selected underscore group underscore one. And modify it into dep underscore var underscore selected underscore group underscore two. Change all appearances of one with number two. Now, let's review the four script functions in Tableau. They are. The script int function will output an integer number array. The script real function will output a real number array. The script str function will output a string array. And the script bool function will output a boolean array. All of them can take any kind of data value as input parameters. Let's take a moment to review the aggregate functions available in Tableau that can be used in the script function. It's important to note that the sum, average, and median functions can only be used with numeric data types as input parameters. If your input data is categorical, it's best to avoid using these functions. Instead, choose aggregate functions that are appropriate for your input data type to avoid any error. It doesn't matter which aggregate functions you use as long as they go along well with your input data type. Let's review the syntax of the script function in Tableau. You should choose the appropriate script function based on the output data type that you expect. For instance, if you are running a t-test that outputs a p-value, you can use the script real function, which is suitable for real number outputs. The first parameter of the script function is the R code that you want to execute. You can include as many lines of R code as necessary to perform your calculations, and you should enclose them in single or double quotation marks. The second and the rest parameters, if any, are your input data for the calculation. You should wrap each of them with an aggregate function separated by a comma. The first input data is named .arg1, the second .arg2, etc. You can use these default names in your R code and put the output value as the very last line of your R code. Now, let's construct a calculated field named t-test. p-value y, tilde x, to perform a t-test. Copy and paste the following code into the formula dialog box. As you can see, we have six lines of R code and two input data .arg1 and .arg2. The if-then expression in the R code is used for error checking to ensure that the t-test is performed only when exactly two groups are selected, for example, school 1 and school 3. Otherwise, the calculation should return a value of minus 9 as an error indicator. Because a valid p-value should be a value between 0 and 1. Create another Tableau parameter named alpha level and set its initial value to 0 0.05. If you like to follow me using the Greek letter alpha as the parameter name, you can copy it from an HTML special characters page and paste it as the Tableau parameter name. Create a calculated field named t-test result. Copy and paste the following code into the formula dialog box. This calculated field will first check if any error value of negative 9 occurred. If not, it will proceed to check whether the return p-value is less than the alpha level. If yes, the t-test result is labeled as significant, otherwise, the t-test result is not significant. Add group name to the filter shelf and select all available categories, male and female. Now we have two groups of samples been selected. Right-click group name, then select show filter to see the results. Before we proceed, make sure you uncheck the aggregate measure and turn off the stack marks from Tableau's top menu. Now drag the t-test p-value y tilde x into the text marks. We got a p-value returned from the two sample t-test. The p-value is very small, almost close to zero, which means the result is significant. Let's format the p-value to display four decimal points only. To display the t-test result, drag the t-test result calculated field to the row shelf. Currently, the t-test is testing whether there is significant difference between male and female on the ACT math score. 
We can use the dependent variable options parameter to select and test on a different ACT score, for example ACT science score, or the ACT composite score, or the ACT English score. Instantly, we can find that there is no significant difference on the ACT English score between male and female. So you can see how useful this tool is in conducting a dynamic two-sample t-test. Likewise, we can select different group by selecting the independent variable options to switch the t-test on two different ethnic groups or income groups or between two different schools or regions. When you're switching among different dimension groups, please always make sure exactly two groups were selected, otherwise, the calculated field will display an error message to inform you an error on the group selections. Let's add show apply button to the group filter selection menu so that the calculated field won't instantly trigger before we finalize the selections. The default income group sort order is not exactly correct. Let's add a default sort order to the calculated field group name. Then sort the income group in order of high, middle, and low income group. Right click the parameter alpha and change its value to 0.01. Then, right-click on the parameter alpha and select Show Parameter. Add underscore two samples group one and underscore two samples group two to the details. Now edit the worksheet title. Copy the code below and paste it onto the worksheet title dialog box. Now, whenever we change the group dimension, sample groups, alpha level, or the ACT score for a t-test, we can see from the page title exactly what has been tested. Put a label on the second column, so user know the value on the second is the p-value from the t-test. By the way, every time when you open a Tableau workbook using our analytics, you should open our console and include the rserve library, then start the rserve first. This is excellent. I have shown you the steps to conduct a dynamic two-sample t-test in Tableau and using our analytic extension. I hope this tutorial video is useful for you. If you like this video, Please subscribe to my channel and click a thumb up for me. Thank you.